Hello and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Cowley and we're in Salem today talking with your elected leaders. My guest today is longtime Democratic Senator Mark Hass. Mark, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. You represent the Beaverton area and you're a longtime advocate of um, higher education. You're leading an idea that would help give two years of community college to all the residents in Oregon. And why do you think that's important at this time? Well, what we're looking at is a uh, free co uh, community college two years to Oregon high school graduates. And I, it's important because of uh, the reality that is there are no longer any paths to the middle class for someone who just comes out of high school and has no post-secondary education. There's one path and it goes to poverty. Mm -hmm. And so I think Oregon and I think really the rest of the country is starting to grapple with this situation that we've got to look at a set of a four-year high school plan, probably a six-year plan where there's mm -hmm. an associate's degree. Our idea here <coughs> is you give these, these young people an opportunity that they can go to community college, get a certificate, be a, a welder, a medical assistant, or take two years of transfer credits to go on to a, a public university. And the problem we have in Oregon is we have about 70,000 kids in this category of between 18 and 24 um, who are what my daughter might say just hanging out. They have no job and they have really no technical or marketable skills and they're living at home, living with friends, living in subsidized shelter and you can say they should pick themselves up by the bootstraps. You can say they should work three jobs like I did when I was in college. You can say all those things, but what you can't say is they're cheap because every one of those, those young people costs taxpayers about $14,000 a year. Mm. And the day that one of them becomes a welder at Gunderson Marine is the day that $14,000 expenditure comes off the table. Mm. So I think our entire country, not just Oregon, is grappling with this reality that the cost of not going to college is getting expensive. Mm -hmm. And this population of young people not going to college is getting bigger. And we have to figure out not just from a, a financial standpoint and management of, of what to do, but we also it's, need these people to succeed and become trained as, as sort of a, a matter of national security. I mean, we're competing in a global economy, <clears throat> and if this next generation of young people uh, has no skills, uh, we're we're going to continually fall behind in some very important indicators, as you all know. So that's that's what this is all about. We're taking a hard look at it, uh, um, and uh, we're studying it now this year with the hope that uh, once we get the rules in place that we can pull the trigger uh, next year. I think that's very progressive. And before someone gets to junior college, they've got to complete their K through 12 years and have those be that's successful. Right. And you're working on that, too. Yeah, well, I mean, it's all, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not either or, it's, it's both. And um, the idea for uh, high schools now is we've got a, a new progressive approach for high schoolers to earn more college credits while they're in high school to get them that much uh, further ahead of the game and to save them and their families the expense of, you know, if somebody comes out of Beaverton High School with uh, 40 credits, they've just saved their their family thousands of dollars in the cost of a bachelor's degree. So we like uh, that. Those parents yeah, don't those parents <laughs> love that. And not only that, it makes their high school career uh, much more productive because right now a lot of juniors and especially seniors are putting in half day and, and they've already met most of the requirements. And so those those kids should be uh, earning college credits. We only have 30 seconds left. What's your top priority for what you want to accomplish this session? My top priority of this session is to uh, put the final touch on our, our study of uh, free community college. And I think we're going to do that a pass unanimously in the Senate. It'll pass in the House, and we'll have it ready to go by fall. Mark, that's something to be proud of. It's so nice to see you Good again. See Thank you. you for coming. We appreciate it. This is our Democratic Senator Mark Cass representing the Beaverton area. I'm Dana Cowley in Salem, and you're watching Charter Local Edition Northwest.